Hi guys and gals. I'm out on my ranch this morning in my ninja camp practicing. Today I'm throwing spears and doing footwork drills and using my butterfly swords a little bit. And I was thinking that I haven't seen any good tutorials or videos on how to throw a spear combatively. I'm a big admirer of the Maasai people and the Maasai warriors in particular and their awesome skill with the Maasai spear. And I thought today I would show you how you throw spears combatively. There isn't really much online to find, so I thought I'd remedy that today. inch plywood targets. I made these up years ago when plywood was inexpensive. I probably made four or five hundred of them so I still got some left and what I like about them is they're reasonably close to a person. When I stand in front of that, let's have the camera look at me, put my spear to the side, I probably cover up most of that target. So any hit on that target is going to be bad. Now this spear weighs about three pounds. Just about three pounds. It's about, I'd say, more than one and a half inches wide at its widest point. It's got a really long blade, over 20 inches long. And no matter where you hit a human being with this spear, it's gonna be bad. But what I wanna do is, again, just like I do in combat shooting with handguns or rifles or shotguns, talk about shooting the center line or hitting the center line. This is where all the most precious vital organs, nerve centers, blood vessels, etc., are all located right in the middle of your body. Maybe a little bit to the left or right, but right in this vicinity, it's all gold. When you hit to the sides, it's bad, but not near as bad as in the center. So get used to trying to hit the center of the target. Now, I want to start maybe one spear lengths away. Now, normally in this distance, I might even thrust from this distance because I'm very close. I dare say that I can actually hit that target if I come back here at the bottom of the shoe. You don't want to throw or get ready to throw when the guys, your enemy is so close, they might be able to get to you before you can get your spear off. If you're not experienced throwing a spear, you might want to start here just so you're not wasting your practice time, you're getting good hits. So this is how I show people how to shoot a handgun. I actually start actually even closer, about three feet on a, on a cardboard target with wood um, supports. So there's very little danger uh, ricochets on them. And I'll start very close. Same thing with a spear. If you're gonna throw it combatively, get back about one spear length. Now, it's really important when you throw a spear to line up your shoulder with the target whenever possible. Now I'm gonna to have to camp my hat to get that bill out of my way. Sometimes I flick that bill with my hand. You're gonna look at that center line and you're gonna throw. Bang, right in the middle. Don't make your hand come all the way around here. Let's come in here and once, this is what you do not do. See that? I don't do that. I open this up like this. So there's a, a nice gap in here. And my wrist kind of folds back like that. So I'm just kind of cradling it here like this. And I'm not holding, I'm just holding it tight enough so it doesn't fall out of my hand, but no tighter than that. You don't want your fingers to catch as you throw and push that spear off to, off to your target. So I'm holding my spear like this. I've got just about my shoulder, just above my shoulder. I want to, when I step forward, I want to pull it back. And I want to pull it back as far as I can. Throw. There I was off by an inch. But if I hit you in the throat like that, it'd be curtains. The whole point that it's not, the whole point is that you come as close to that center line as you can. You want to look at that center line and try to hit it. I'm not saying you have to hit it every time, but you want to keep that as close to that center line, that throw, as you possibly can. You don't stand right in front of somebody when you throw, if you can help it. If there's any time to line up your throw, get slightly to the side, so your spear can do that. A 
I bet that looked pretty cool on the GoPros. Sword. Now I'm going to show you, uh, throwing at a little further distance, I'm going to try 11 yards first. One, two. Now I punched the center, and I'm happy about that, but my spear didn't hit at the optimum angle. Let's see. It still went seven inches through the plywood, so that's good. That's a lethal mortal blow, and I'll take it. You want your spear to hit, always impact, if at all possible, at a slightly downward angle. This is much less desirable. That's much less desirable. That's much, much less desirable. You always want it to have a slight downward angle on impact. And that gives you the very best penetration and the most damage. Try to throw past it. There I hit the center line, low again, but the center. That this is my third strike at the same level. I seldom throw that far, and I'll confess I'm out of practice throwing that far. Normally the furthest I throw is 10 yards, but the point that I want to make is that when you're throwing it outside your normal range that you're confident at, you have a lot of experience. Look at that target, pick an arc, yeah. throw past it. There I punched him in the shoulder that time. When I throw past it, I almost always score.